Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM and tonight's lineup of movies with one of the 20th century's most accomplished character actors, Ralph Bellamy. Up next, Bellamy supports Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers in a screwball comedy slash dance picture, the genre that Astaire and Rogers practically invented from RKO in 1938, Carefree. Astaire plays a therapist hired by his pal, that's Bellamy, to peer into the psyche of Bellamy's girlfriend, Ginger Rogers. Bellamy wants to get married. Rogers is less inclined. Clearly, psychiatric intervention is required. Although not wanting to marry poor Ralph Bellamy in the late 1930s and early 40s was such a common condition in the movies that it deserved its own entry in the 1938 version of WebMD. Carefree marked the eighth of ten films Astaire and Rogers made together. It came at a somewhat fraught moment in their careers. Afraid of being typecast together, each had begun seeking success without the other, with mixed results. Rogers earned solid reviews for her work in a non-musical stage door with Katharine Hepburn, Gail Patrick, and Lucille Ball. Astaire's RKO musical, A Damsel in Distress, fared less well. Audiences clamored for the two to re-team, and RKO, struggling financially after bankrolling Astaire's flop, was happy to oblige. Carefree is notable among Astaire Rogers' pairings for several reasons. It features the fewest dance numbers of any of their films, just four. It's also the only one of their movies where Astaire's character is not in show business. He does the psychiatry profession no favors. You should count the ethical lapses if you dare. Carefree is best known, though, for featuring the first kiss shared between Astaire and Rogers on screen, and it's a doozy. Why the long wait? Well, some attribute it to the pair's off-screen ambivalence toward one another. Others pinned it on Astaire's wife, Phyllis, who was reportedly jealous of Rogers. Astaire, though, offered his own much simpler explanation, confessing that he simply wasn't a fan of mushy love scenes in the movies. Here is the fifth Astaire Rogers picture directed by Mark Sandrich with our star of the night, Ralph Bellamy, plus Luella Gear, Jack Carson, and an uncredited Hattie McDaniel from RKO in 1938, Carefree. Though Ralph Bellamy turns out to be a bit of a petulant jerk by the end of Carefree, in real life he was incredibly well-liked by his fellow actors. A founding member of the Screen Actors Guild in 1933, he also served four terms as president of Actors' Equity, the theater union, shepherding the organization through the grim realities of the McCarthy era. Under Ralph Bellamy, Actors' Equity put in place standards to protect its members against charges of Communist Party membership or, quote, exhibiting left-wing sympathies. Bellamy worked tirelessly to find stage work for actors who had been blacklisted in Hollywood. He also helped establish the first pension fund for actors. In 1987, those contributions, in addition to his 65-year career of varied roles across film, stage, and television, earned him an honorary Academy Award for, quote, his unique artistry and his distinguished service to the profession of acting. Coming up, Ralph Bellamy plays a criminal who goes under the knife in an attempt to escape his deeds and ends up with a bigger transformation than he bargained for. The Man Who Lived Twice is next on TCM. Next on TCM, The Man Who Lived Twice, then Sunrise at Campo Bello, and later Parole Girl. TCM walks the straight and narrow tonight. <laughs> 